Hey folks, dude here. Well, um, got the uh, CRX out and taking a little tooling around and um, well, I'm heading down to my bank to make a deposit real quick and then I'll be heading back to the house as soon as this guy lets me merge. But uh, head back to the house and you'll see why I've had to run the CRX. Uh, essentially, I've contacted all the, the gun ranges in my area and uh, nobody wants any videography to take place. They basically said, don't even bring a camera in here. We do not allow it. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Just don't even think about it, dude. We're not going to even let you come in the door with the thing. So um, basically, I'm hung out to dry on that one. So I'm going to have to duplicate the, uh, the Mozambique uh, triple tap. I'm going to have to redo that with the semi-auto Ruger Mark II in, uh, well, in my basement. And, uh, well, of course, you can't make things quieter. But you sure can make them louder. So I'm going to be parking this guy outside while it's idling. And when it's idling, I'll be, well, tapping off some rounds inside. Should work pretty good. And uh, let's see how my plan works out. Except for traffic starting to back up. And that's never good. Ugh. All right. First segment in the can. All right, folks. We're back again in this segment. I'm just going to give a very small demonstration. Um. If you go to your local gun store, you go to your Bass Pro, your Cabela's, your you know your average gun place, they're gonna have something known as a Dirty Bird Target. What's a Dirty Bird Target do? Uh, well, look in the lower right hand corner. Basically, does this. It shows point of impact by basically uh, losing the the black upper coating and showing in the uh, the yellow lower under layer. All right, so this is basically gonna be uh, something that really illustrates really good when I start doing the uh, good of moon bam. Good old Mozambiques. Can't talk. All right, well, uh, basically the Dirty Bird's going to show where I'm hitting at, and we'll go from there. Good times. All right, folks, uh, we're now set up. Vehicle's running, so I got my background noise. Got the uh, got the Ruger Mark II. Got two 10-rounders now loaded with nine rounds, so uh, let's do this thing and see where we go. Got my ears on. Got the car running. Got standard velocity. It's about as quiet as this thing's going to get and still function. Range is hot. Nine more up the pipe. Messed that one up. Had a stove pipe. Hang on. Function, function problem. Function problem. Now, see, the problem is also these are really lightly loaded. They're not full power. So, uh, had a double feed. Got one up the chamber, though. That's weird. That's really weird. All right, so one up hot. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Let me just run it out and see what I get. Uh, should be live. That's it. We are dry. All right, I'm going to take this upstairs because I'm not doing any more rounds out. Hey, folks. Dude here. And, uh, this is me being a dumbass. I did the complete and total drill backwards. Um, well, let's do it in the right order this time. Two fast, one slow. I don't know what the hell is asking me. Got the car off and back down the basement. I think I can run out six real fast and give a demo. So let me just do that real quick. And that's a mosaic. Uh, no, that's a Mozambique. You know, for some reason, I just can't damn talk today. Uh, let's just take this upstairs and review it for later. Ugh, it's just one of them days, folks. Hey, folks, dude here. Okay, we're back. Um, we're now upstairs, and I'm reviewing what I did. And um, the third segment where I was basically firing out of specification... Yeah, not one of my finer moments. I mean, essentially, you know and I know, it's bang, bang, last shot, bang. Um, I think basically I was just so uh, amped up and trying to blow it for time that I blew it. I <laughs> really blow it. All right, well, um, so basically that's a standard operational thing on the Mozambique, is you have your two fast, one slow, two center mass, one up a little higher, and... Um, I was just trying to show bullet placement on target. I wasn't really shooting for, like, you know, two center mass groups and then one headshot group. And um, that ammo really is not 
the favorite of that gun. And that's CCI standard velocity, so um, I guess that Ruger likes some hot stuff. It really, truly enjoys um, high velocity. It, truth be told, it's an older gun, but the thing is perfect inside. I mean, I'm still breaking it in. So uh, probably it just needs to get all worked up, played with, shot. I mean, try to take the thing apart. I mean, you need a 2x4 and a lot of ass to get that thing to come apart on you. It's it's tight. I mean, it's really tight. Like, I've heard of people having to shim the upper receiver and the lower receiver. And, uh, <clears throat> like, the front takedown lug kind of gets worn out on a Mark II pistol. Not on mine. Mine, you basically got to whomp all hell out of it to get that thing apart. It is tight. Well, anyway, um, hopefully you guys took something out of this. And, um, well, ignore that third segment where I was just being a dumbass and shooting all out of spec. I uh, can't believe I did that one. Oh, well, at least I got to burn some ammo and kill some paper. Good times, and actually, it's a pretty good group. I mean, you can see I was shooting the, holes, the same holes a lot of the time, so um, if only I could find a range that would allow me to set up a camera, I guess we'd be gold. All right, well, here on Eater's Podcast Channel, I'm going to say see you, and um, that's the Mozambique triple tap with a two-shot uh, double tap followed with a headshot. Basically, it's how you perform it. Bang, 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 bang. That's your cadence, and I really completely blew it on the uh, the third segment. I just need to get some brambles or barbed wire or something. I need to just teach my own self a lesson, and I won't do that again. All right, folks, here in the US Podcast Channel, as I see it, as always, always, Tigger's my stunt cat today. Good times. Urgh.